my video for January the 26th, 2018 is entitled Hugging Trees and Tears Flowing. Yesterday was a day of reflecting on my life, which is not that unusual for me anymore. I do a lot of reflection. In fact, I have once again made it a practice to spend more time in nature looking for wildlife and hugging trees. I even caress the leaves of many plants as I walk around the nature park. What was strange yesterday was the fact that tears were forming in my eyes for no apparent reason. I felt emotional most of the day, reflecting on people who were in my life for a time and on my family. My Facebook page reflects a small part of this since I posted a picture and some videos of my son's bands, Elephant Gun and Orangutanga. Today, I remain in a reflective place, still reflecting on my past and pondering what might be ahead. I even pulled a book off my shelves, The Diary of a Walk-In, Your Personal Wake-Up Call. The author, Susan E. Lane, will be speaking at the Metaphysical Group this Sunday. I haven't seen her in over a decade. This is certainly an interesting time for me. <laughs> oh, yes, where to begin? Uh, every day, uh, pretty much, with rare exception, if it's raining, I don't go on my nature walks, but Pretty much I do on the other days, uh, especially on school days after I drop my uh, middle grandchild off at her, her school, I, I go to the park and I often see one of my longtime friends who also goes to that same park and I meet her uh, uh, doing her walking. She does it for exercise. I do it to connect with nature. As I said, I uh, hug trees, I caress leaves. It takes me about 45, 50 minutes to go around a, a half a mile, uh, I think it's about a half a mile trail uh, in the middle of a, of a, of a woods, basically. Uh, there's a part of it's a swamp. And uh, I don't see a lot of animals. I did have a squirrel come down and, <laughs> stop within about, I don't know, eight or 10 feet from, from me uh, and just stare at me for a while and turned and scampered back up the branch and up into the tree, but just seemed to be coming down slowly to investigate me, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, and of course, I see some, uh, I don't know if they're turkey vultures or what they are, but there's usually two of those that sit on a in a dead tree that has no leaves on it. I guess it's dead. It's certainly barren of leaves. And they seem to sit there frequently uh, at one place in the park toward the, toward the end of my walk. Uh, in any case, uh, I, strangely enough, as I said, had tears forming in my eyes as I was doing my nature walk. I mean, I... It didn't start till I hugged the first tree. And then all of a sudden, a tear just, just started coming out of the corner of my uh, right eye and flowing down the side of my face, <laughs> uh, which is the same thing that happened uh, at the uh, Love Line connection uh, the previous, yeah, it was the previous weekend, I guess. Was, and I think I mentioned that uh, in the video that I did following that event. Uh, but I, uh, oh, uh, when I was, when I found out uh, that my daughter and her husband uh, are getting back together again, which made me feel really happy too. That was news that my grandkids shared with me uh, uh, yesterday. So that was a happy thing. And of course, uh, I looked, I should have had it here uh, at the computer with me, but I don't. Uh, my friend Jenny, uh, I've had her picture and I posted it on my Facebook page. She uh, came into my 
thoughts again yesterday. And uh, of course, that was uh, one of the happier experiences of my life. Uh, and uh, I went and I listened to one of my uh, son's uh, videos. When I say my son's, it's the band Orangutanga. Uh, and I posted that on the same flow of po postings on Facebook yesterday. And also, uh, uh, well, the Brevard Busting Coalition or Orangutanga, which is the new newer band that he plays with. And he, and he actually fills in other bands uh, when they, he doesn't have a gig and other bands need, need a drummer. He fills in for some other bands from time to time as well. And I don't think he plays well he, he he still gets together with dave pastorius i think on a semi-regular basis and plays during the week uh, at an open mic type event uh but in any case i was reflecting 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 and uh when i got the announcement that uh the metaphysicians uh circle is going to have uh susan elaine come and speak I uh, said, wait a minute, I've got her book, and this is it. It's a, a big book, and it was, uh, I, I got to meet her, I don't know, 15 years ago, maybe. <laughs> I don't know the exact, exact timing. It was actually written 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, I think, um, or thereabouts. And uh, she's going to be, be speaking again. Uh, in the local group here uh, uh, this coming Sunday night, uh, which of course I go to that group most of the time. I don't go every week, but most weeks I do. Uh, it's within walking distance of where I live, so I don't even have to get in my car unless it's raining. Uh, but yesterday was a time that tears flowed off and on throughout the day. Uh, again, for no apparent reason, because when I'm hugging the trees, I'm not reflecting. Well, I guess I get, you can't say that. I guess I am reflecting on where I am. But when I, when I hug a tree, what happens is I, uh, I hold the tree or either put my hands against it or actually put my arms around it, depending. Uh, and I give, I give it my sorrows to, to go down into the ground and, and be recycled, but it also reaches me up into the heavens much higher than I'm able to reach at my six foot four stature. Uh, and I'm connecting with heaven and earth uh, when I hug or touch or put my hands on the tree. Uh, that's part of my ritual, if you will. And uh, again, I am doing a lot of reflecting. Yes, I talk about punching God in the face and, and being angry that things are not better than what they are. Uh, but I still hang on to the dream, if you will, uh, that we're going to be going into a, higher dimensional world and that's what susan emphasizes in her book she sees an actual bifurcation of humanity where those that are still hanging on to three-dimensional stuff uh, will stay in a three-dimensional reality but others will go to a five-dimensional reality and uh, they won't be able to see each other except on rare occasions where the 5d impinges on the 3d to try to get people to uh, wake up as it were uh, so this was the kind of day that i that i had yesterday and and i laid there this morning reflecting again before i even put my feet out of the off the bed and uh went to the bathroom and came to the computer I was continuing this reflection. So thank you folks for, for listening and bearing with me on this strange, in this strange video and on my strange journey. Thank you and namaste.